Because apparently, after we killed the prime evil, that means that the humans are the last people with demon blood in them. Because apparently, humans are made of half angel and half demon in this story, in this existence, right? Yeah. But there are clearly undead and demonic shit. There's clearly undead and demonic shit going on all over the place that he and only he is causing. Right? And then you get to the finale area later in the game and you're just fighting straight up demons. You're not fighting angels, you're fighting fucking demons. And it's just like, what, what, what was your plan there, fucktard? You are such the artist when it comes to dispatching Death's minions. So, the story makes no Don't fucking sense me. at this point. I'll just be waiting over here. Take care of these assholes. Yeah, we gotta get- oh wow, he wants my butt. He wants my butt real bad. Gotta go fast. Gotta make the bullet arrows go fast. Also gotta blow up these damn corpse piles. Burn them down. The faster we kill these, the faster we can fight the boss and get out of this area. There we go. We're gonna stand right here in this caltrop and fight the boss. It's probably the stupidest thing I've ever said. Because holy shit, we took damage quickly. Wow. Actually having a lot of trouble there. Shit! Out of discipline. Hey, we done did it. And we've got a great replacement weapon here. Yes! We'll take it. Oh yeah, 26k, 316k, 51k. Pretty good. Pretty good overall upgrade there. We need a better quiver though. As soon as we hit 60, we're crafting that fucking... That legendary quiver we have access to. And watch it be terrible compared to other shit we have and just super make me angry. But whatever. What was that? That would be Urzael. Really? Urzel is the angel who commands Malvale's forces. What do you mean, who is that? You've been reading his books. Apparently he's like the number one author on Amazon and shit because you just find his books all over the fucking place. And yes, I am talking about dumbass ancient medieval Amazon. Shut your... shut up. Just shut up. Just go with it. Awful bow. What you got, bro? Who's this? I'm Bryson. I was trapped in the cellar until Hadric rescued me. Huh. <laughs> and now he won't go away. Well, you saved his life. Perhaps he's grateful. I am. In fact, I'm going to repay Hadric by helping him. Oh my. I told you to stay away from my forge. Oh, man, I want to be able to build some shit. <laughs> Level 60. Level 60, that's where we get the massive, ridiculous upgrade in power and awesomicity. So we've got... Let's see, with the experience level we have now, maybe another... 20-ish minutes of leveling to get there.
or the gemologist itch? See, we have all this, like, story stuff we can do by talking to these people, but at this point it's just like, eh, I'd rather continue fighting my way through shit here. Yeah. Two, three. At least one of them. There we go. Upgrade our shit. Give us more room in the stash. In our musty ash. Yeah, I know I'm done. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> sweet. Just a little more. Oh, sweet. We did have enough to upgrade that. Two, one, 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 two, three, one, two, one, two. Damn. Okay. All right. There's all our upgrades. Now, did those go into our actual inventory? God damn it, they did. <laughs> all that time I spent dumping crap into the stash, and now I have to do it again. At least it goes quickly, I guess. Yay! Let's drop these off. Health potions are good to have. And the rest of this crap we can salvage. Quick repair job, and let's continue on with the story. Look, the sliver is changing. Look, things are happening. You did this, and we need something to make the story go more better, faster. Or He's been gathering strength from the souls of Westmarch in order to alter the stone. Yet his purpose still eludes me. He's killing everyone. What more do you need to know? I need to know what he's going to do next. That's the only way to stop him. All right, I think shit's about to go nuts. Oh no, shit's going nuts! No, oh, no! Explosions! Let's munch here while they talk about stuff. ...to finish collecting the souls of Westmarch. Where can I find him? All I know is that he is in a mm. town somewhere in the Westmarch Heights. And that he will be quite rude to you. Before you set out to kill him, you should stop by my cart. I can enchant some items for you. Almost done eating. Oh. She stopped walking. I couldn't be an asshole anymore. Okay, so this lady can enchant stuff. Which is cool and important. Yeah, yeah, I maxed her out. So, she can enchant items which will change one of their stats. Um, in case you get, like, an item from somebody else and it's, like, it stacks intelligence and you need to stack strength, you can switch that over and stuff like that. Which is a very cool way to allow you to tailor your weapons and items to be better for you. And she can also transmogrify items which allows you to change the appearance of the items. Which is neato. Like, look at that. So for whatever I want, or for the amount of money, I can make these things look like whatever the hell I want them to look like. Which is kind of neat, right? So, like, if I want to spend 50,000 gold, I can make that look like that. Uh, same thing with the equipment I have. So I can give her all the crazy stuff and kind of tailor the way the character looks which is neat and I like it and when you have enough money it's a really cool way to kind of upgrade and fuck with your character and really tailor your character tailor your character to make them look how you want them um yeah I don't really have too much else I can say about that. That's actually sick with the with the scarf. I like that. Goofy little cape. I don't know about that one. 
Alright. Can't make the quiver look like anything else, because apparently I've only ever equipped one quiver. And that's a neat little feature, a neat little addition to the game, and uh, really helps with the replayability, I guess. Alright, let us continue on with the story and get 60 and then spend 20 minutes upgrading our shit. Trail mix is delicious. After Coraline's death, the crown passed to Justinian I through a somewhat convoluted interpretation of Zakharum's scripture. Thus began the Justinian dynasty. Seen as usurpers by many, the Justinians suffered nearly constant challenges to their rule. Finally, during the reign of Justinian III, a full-fledged insurrection broke out in the outlying region of Carthus. Oh man, my basic attacks are so much slower but do so much more damage with this weapon. I always thought that was interesting, switching between crossbows, regular bows, and the hand crossbows. It's just the the difference in attack speed really kind of makes you approach the game differently. And that's cool. That's cool that switching up a weapon, which all basically do the exact same thing, so drastically changes your character's play style. Like, even the rapid fire is slower, but it does tons more damage up front. Which is great. Cool. It's a cool thing that happens. Oh my. Well, it looks like we're going right back to fucking hand crossbow, because I bet this legendary is going to be beast as fuck. Oh my god, it's beast as fuck! Oh! 2.1% chance to freeze on hit. That's fantastic. 314 to 390 fire damage, 20% fire skill damage, 509 dexterity, 297 vitality. That is sick. Let's watch all our fucking stats just pop way up. 31.7k! Pretty good. It's pretty good for a level 59 piece of shit character. Talking shit about this character. I totally picked this character intentionally for this playthrough because I thought it would be cool. Wow, the damage difference is immediate. I love that. Hey look, it's a Maiden of Flame. Not for much longer, but that's okay. There you go. Man, that critical hit, oh shit. That critical hit chance from dropping the Caltrops as well is such a game changer. It's basically as long as you remember to press the button, it increases what you can do by, like, double. Damage potential, that's the word I'm looking for. Hey look, another Maiden of Flame. Cool. Man, these motherfuckers are no joke. Need more AoE. Need more dots, more dots. Oh, it's because she was molt, and I was standing in her molten butthole. God damn it. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. I need to work on reducing my cooldowns, because that rain of arrows is fantastic, and I don't like when I don't have it up. And it's not like I'm not using it at the most opportune times, because I think I am. I just don't like not having it up all the time. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about it. Get that. Get that here, get these guys. We're doing all right. Slowly working our way through this perpetually burning landscape here. <laughs> 